Welcome to section 2, Remote Desktop Services. Now in this section, we're going to look at building and configuring a remote desktop services environment, adding printers to that environment, and then installing and publishing applications as well. So let's move ahead and do our first video, building and configuring a remote desktop services environment. Now in this video, we'll look at walking through our remote desktop services deployment, and then we'll actually move through that, install the appropriate roles, and uh, be up and running with remote desktop services. Now you may be familiar with remote desktop services from an administrative standpoint. By default, when you install Windows Server and enable remote desktop, you have an administrative login to that box where you have a set limit of users, and that's typically used for performing simple system administration tasks. With remote desktop services, this expands on that to allow multiple users within your organization all log in to these remote systems. Now it's not necessarily the best idea to have a hundred people logging into a server to perform system administration tasks, so this gives you the opportunity to use uh, just application publishing and isolate that and also to apply ACLs to what users can connect to and essentially route them just to the resources that they need to do their job. So the different scenarios for remote desktop, there's that session base that we talked about where you're logging into a server, you're getting a desktop. There's an extension of that with Hyper-V where you can use remote desktop services to deploy a VDI solution where there's actual virtual machines that are serving desktops to your clients. There's also the app-based scenario that I just discussed where uh, you can isolate their remote desktop experience to just the application that they need to access. Now there are many different components. These are the main ones here. So the session host is essentially your workhorse. That's where you will be installing the applications that people have access to. And you can find yourself having multiple session hosts to break up that workload for however fits best in your organization. A remote desktop gateway is something you can put out at the edge where people can connect to that server to gain access to anything else within your network. Remote desktop web access allows you to connect to a website and log in with your domain credentials and then with those credentials you can see what resources you have access to and then just click through to launch remote desktop for each one of those things. The licensing server is to ensure that you have the proper Windows licensing going out to for each scenario. And then the connection broker is essentially the dispatch. So this is the thing that tries to maintain connection to make sure if you log into a resource and are disconnected, it can route you back to that same resource. So we're going to do a quick deployment, which is part of 2016, which will be installing a session host, web access, and the connection broker onto a single server. So once we have that, we should be able to connect over a web page and then launch applications from that server from a remote system. We'll be using the DC01 to actually test that connectivity. And we'll also be using DC01 to deploy uh, this remote desktop services quick deployment. So before I jump over to DC01 to do that deployment, let me show you that I've built another server called RDS01 and joined it to the packedlab.local domain and by default we have remote management turned on so uh, what we're going to do is from DC01 we are going to deploy the features over to this RDS01 server. So with that let me connect over to DC01. Okay and you'll see here I've actually uh, I went ahead and added it to server manager I just right clicked on all servers and typed in RDS01 and then uh, hit OK after I added it and so now we can actually do some monitoring here. What I'm going to do is go to manage and add the roles and features. Now we've done this quite a bit throughout the last course and in this one we normally just next through this page where we have role based or feature based installation uh, but you'll see the second option here and that is to do the remote desktop services installation. So we're going to go ahead and select that 
and the installation type we want to do is a quick start which is going to basically take those three components install them to one server and create a collection for us so this is the quickest way to do a POC or if you just have a simple single server application that you need to configure access for without having to deploy a large chunk of infrastructure to get this up and running quick start might work out great for you so click on next what we want to do is session based virtual machine based would require an additional hyper-v server to manage the virtual machines and then we should see here that we have rds01 so i'll add that i'm actually going to uh, remove dc01 that shouldn't be part of our deployment and I go ahead and click on next and make sure it can connect and now you can see the following role services will be installed that connection broker which manages the connections shouldn't be working too hard though since it's a single server so we're going to be going straight through to this session host and to get there we'll be using the remote desktop web access so I also check to restart that destination server since it would be required and then we'll go ahead and hit deploy we can see the status page here as it takes care of all of this for us. So I'm going to pause here and once that's done, we'll go ahead and verify that our deployment is up and running. Okay, so we can see that our installation is wrapped up. Uh, we can also see that we have a link here to connect to that RDS01 server through uh, a web browser. And that's going to be that web access that allows us to go in and select these things. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the link here and bring up Internet Explorer. Uh, we're going to see, like we talked about in the previous section, the security issue here. It's a self-signed certificate. So for now, we're just going to say OK. Go ahead and move through. And here you can see that we have our web access. Uh, and I'll go ahead and just log in as the administrator account. And you can see a message here. We are connected to these resources by default. Now these are all applications that are running on RDS01. Uh, and we're on DC01. So you can see here, if I hit the calculator, that's going to give me some information here that it's trying to run a remote app. And you can see the information here. Uh, again, we're getting certificate issue, it's self-signed, but you can see it's also, uh, you can check what resources on your computer should be able to map to this connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and say connect anyways, and we should see that glorious calculator pop up. So there you have it. We have the calculator app, and just to check, we can go ahead and bring up our task manager. And if you look, you'll see there is no calculator running. And again, that's because we are on RDS01 using its calculator. So we have now tested that our deployment is working on RDS01. We can connect through that web portal and we can launch one of the remote apps.